is about to begin. And you're gonna love it. What's up, YouTube? This is Lactrox Topher here, bringing you another NCAA Football 12 commentary. This time I'm starting my new series, which will be a Dynasty mode. And here are some of the teams I decided to choose from Ohio, Vanderbilt, Maryland, Tulsa, and I ended up signing with Vanderbilt. Well, I it's a bit of a challenge, and they're the bottom of the SEC, so they're in a good conference. They're not super bad, but they definitely have room to improve. So I know I just wanted to see what I could do with them. Uh, our first game is against FCS East, and I, I think the real team is Elon, Elon, something like that. Once again, before this game starts, I'm going to mention... Uh, if you're a Vanderbilt fan or SEC fan or someone that knows any of these players' names, please let me know kind of politely how to actually pronounce their names. Also, being from Idaho, I have no clue how to pronounce any of the Vanderbilt names that are kind of different uh, because I didn't, don't, I don't follow Vanderbilt football. But, you know, they're black and gold. My Vandals are black and gold. They seem like a good team to pick, so I'm going to be a Vanderbilt Commodore. Commodore. And I'm going to try and see if I can lead them to an SEC championship game this year. I'll let you guys know ahead of time. It is on Heisman with adjusted sliders that I came up with. And I will show you guys the video of the sliders sometime here soon. There will probably be a link in the video when I have it up. But here we go. Second play of the game. Vanderbilt throws it to Zach Stacy. They're, well, not star running back, but I think he's pretty damn good. As he takes that one a long ways down to the end zone. Putting them up 7-0. Vandy hands it off to Zach Stacy again, who gets a nice 20-plus yard pickup down into FCS east side of the field. And he'll get the ball right back on the next play, first and 10. Gets the ball all the way to 40-plus yards for the touchdown. Like I said, Zach Stacy might not be a star, but he's a star to me. As Vanderbilt forces the fumble here, Thomas will take it back for a scoop and score. Vanderbilt putting it on early, 21-0 in the first quarter. FCS east did not show up for this. Almost throws a pick there, not the way they want to come back. End of the first quarter, Vanderbilt trying to do something with it. They missed that pass there, giving the ball right back to FCS East, who hit a pass right here to pick up their first down on that third and eight. First and ten, they drop back. Almost picked again. Their quarterback not playing the best game right now. You can tell he's rattled coming to SEC country, trying to take down the Vanderbilt Comm Commodores. FCS East dropping back with four minutes left in the second quarter. He has all day, and he... Finds his wideout, but it's just out of bounds and gets broken up. They'll punt the ball to Umo for Vanderbilt, who gets a nice return. But there was three clips on the play. I've never seen such a act in my life. So that will come back, and Vanderbilt will have to start with the ball on offense. Not going to jump up 28-0 on a punt return. Zach Stacy will get another handoff. Take it a pretty good distance, get a nice pickup there, almost inside FCS East territory. They get Uma wide open on a like out route streak. He'll take it for a touchdown. The first receiving, or I guess not the first, first receiving touchdown for a receiver in this, but FCS East down by 28. Gets a nice play by number 86 on this play as he takes it to the house, putting FCS East only within three scores with still over <laughs> two halves of football. There are two quarters of football to play. Carter Samuel scrambles and makes something happen out of nothing as he finds Umo. Uh, and Carter Samuels will drop back again on this play with under two minutes left. He's sacked on fourth and six. They don't pick it up, turning the ball over to FCS East, trying to make something happen before the half ends. They pick up a first down here, getting into Vanderbilt territory. Hit another, the running back out of the backfield, number 24 on this one. He takes his Vanderbilt just can't seem to tackle him. Takes it all the way down to the one, but it doesn't matter. So they'll punch it in right here with their star running back, number nine. Vanderbilt will get the ball back up by 14, but they can't do anything with it. Punt with just under 20 seconds left, but they cause a fumble. Could have been big for Vanderbilt, leading to last second points in the second quarter before the second half started. Vanderbilt going for one last shot. They get the play by 86 again, coming up big, but he gets tackled with the six, and the half will end. Vanderbilt getting the ball here in the second quarter, in the second half. Carter Samuels hands off to Zach Stacy after that big pass, getting down to the one, but Zach Stacy will punch it in here on the toss. Vanderbilt going back up by 21, 34 to 14, or 35 to 14. Uh, FCS East 
quarterback decides to scramble as he's starting to heat up now not so rattled as he was in the first half he'll drop back here he has time hits his wide receiver his star wide receiver number 86 who will pick up a nice carry but their star running back will punch it in here as he says get off me Vanderbilt defender and takes that one in on a toss sack here on first and 10 will force the third and 16 later in the drive at under four minutes left in the fourth quarter. He just lobs this one up here. Wilson can't get his gra or his hands to hold on to it as he misses a key play there. But number 16 for FCS East not going down without a fight as he keeps his Rhinos in this. But picked off here with under two minutes left in the fourth quarter. He was heating up. Way to take the little the hot streak out of the offense there by Graham I believe it's what it is Garham I can't re quite read his name so apologize if I screw it up as he, he's celebrating right there just like heck yeah we're gonna win this but once again FCS East and this passing offense seems to be unstoppable as they just keep picking up first downs here after the first quarter they struggled they've picked it up ever since as he'll find 86 again in the back of the end zone for a touchdown here fourth and two with under a couple minutes left Tar Samuels will pitch it to Zach Stacy, who picks up the first, runs out the clock, and Vanderbilt will win their first game of the season. Moving up 1 0 against the FCS East Rhinos or real life Elon Elon. And 42 to 28, a 14 point win. Uh, not exactly what I believe the Commodores were looking for in this first game, as they were expecting to blow out FCS East, but. We'll have more to come and see if the season has brighter sparks. But until then, uh, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, most importantly, to get more of this. And I'll be putting out a franchise video probably tomorrow, the day after that. Also, a video with my sliders coming out soon. Follow me on Twitter. I'm going to start tweeting more than I do on Facebook and finding people to play through my Twitter account. I will not find people to play through my Facebook. So follow me on Twitter. The information for that will be down below in the description. Uh, like this video, comment on this video, favorite this video, just do whatever you want to this video, but dislike it. This has been Lax Rocks Topher reminding you to keep gaming.